hello everyone uh, welcome to my channel this is akash here so in this video we will learn about how do you build an efficient docker image let's go with understanding what exactly we are going to do over here in this video so there, there's a scenario that um, many times you are trying to create an image and you want to optimize that particular image and you you basically used to struggle a lot because optimizing an image takes a lot of effort so that you have to delete the files which you don't need in the runtime and then and you also need some compilers or some runtime binaries libraries so it's very difficult to basically filter out what exactly you don't need in your in, in a particular image so we have a feature called multi-stage builds which is available in with with docker 17.5 and above with like both daemon and client and so what is the use of it so docker builds docker multi-stage builds are useful to anyone who has struggled to optimize the docker file while keeping them easy to read and maintain okay so many times you want to delete several things and you also want to keep it very simple okay so i'll just show a demo which will explain which will make you understand completely that how multi-stage builds are being used so let's go to my machine so first of all you just run docker version to check whether docker is installed here or not so both client as well as server engine is available in in my in my linux environment so if you don't know how to install docker i have already created a video where, where i have explained how to do, install docker from scratch i'll keep that video link in the description below okay so now that we have logged into the linux linux environment and also the docker is installed i'll just go to my home directory okay so let's create a project name that is sample multi stage build okay so if you can see here i have created a directory called sample multi stage build and i'll create a hello world application here hello world go application so this is going to be a very simple hello world application just to package main so main package is used to run your main function and then i'll just import fmt so fmt is used where uh, fmt package has all the predefined functions called println printf scanf so i'm just using fmt println and a sample hello from akash this is the output i'm expecting for this particular image so now that my source code is ready i'll just create a docker file so this is my docker file so the first thing is uh, i'll be needing a base image of golang so I'm, i'll be needing a base image of golang which so with this um, i'll be getting an installable with all the predefined runtime for the go language to compile my code and then um, i'm going to this hello world directory and i'm copying the hello world to this particular location okay from the local to this location and then this is the command to compile your code so the run command is run is used to run the com run the command so go os is linux so the go operating system is linux and then go build hyphen a hyphen install suffix c go hyphen o is used to ex to download a executable download an output to this particular build so once you build your go go code that is hello world it will create a executable that that is hello world so we can use this executable to run your run your run your application and then the executable location so the, sorry that the code location is the present location so i'll just use dot and last but not the least is the command the default command which will i will i'll be needing when my container will be executed so i'll just so this is the way you execute the application dot slash hello world so the command will output the hello world uh, expected output that is hello from akash so let's run the so let's run this particular image now so docker build hyphen t i'll just name it as not multi-stage multi-stage 
multi-stage image so the docker looking docker file location is the present location okay so just to go to the docker images to see the image whether the image is created or not yeah so the image is created here so just do docker run and then the image name so you can see yeah you get the output which is expected from this image hello from akash so once you run the container so this is the expected output once the code will be compiled this is what i'm going to expect hello from akash but if you can see over here this image size is going to be 784 mb which is huge for a simple hello world application okay so now we'll try to learn that how we can optimize this image. So this is what we are expecting from this demo. So let's go to the Docker file and see that what changes we can do. So one changes we can simply do is that this Golang is with a specific version. So either you can use latest or a specific version. This is all going to create the same kind of uh, environment. So instead of using um, a specific version, I'll just use the version as Alpine. So Alpine is the smallest version for Golang or any other images like Ubuntu also if you want to download the smallest image. So Ubuntu colon Alpine is going to be the smallest compared to any other image versions. Okay, so for this one like Golang Alpine, let's see that how much output does it provide. So I'll just build it again. So instead of using not, I'll just say Alpine so just to do a comparison. So once my code is built, I'll just go to Docker run and then this is my image. So yeah, you can see that this also provides the same output. Let's go and see the size of my image. Okay. So yeah, this, you can see that previous image size was 784 MB and the new image that is Alpine image is going to produce 781 MB, which is comparatively less, but it's, it, it is still not drastic change. Okay, so let's try to see how we can drastically reduce the size of the image. So just go to the Docker file again. So for this one only, we use the multi-stage build. So we'll just show you that how do we use that. So first of all, let's try to understand that why, why this, um, why this much of size the image is taking, even though my code is very small, that is hello world application. Okay. So let's understand what is happening here. So the first of all, I'm creating a base image of Golang. So the Golang runtime takes a lot of storage for building the code and to create all the required runtime libraries okay so in simple words we need to have a full installable of go language just to compile and run my this code okay that is hello world.go application hello world.go code so i need a full installable to run this code and once my code is compiled once the code is compiled yeah, using this command uh, com compiled or build it converts the code into executable that is hello world. So it converts this particular code to an executable code that is hello world. So once once I have the co executable available, I basically doesn't need all these things. That is, I don't need the code available here. I don't need a code. Neither I need the Golang runtime. So how do we delete it? Okay, so let's that's for that reason. We need to have the multi stage build. So let's change it. So I'll just use it as as builder. Okay. So over here that mm, I'm just going to name the first image, the first base image stage as the builder stage. Okay. I'll just create a new image that is Alpine. Okay. So Alpine latest is the smallest image available in Docker Hub okay where you can execute some command execute some linux command so this will not have any runtime libraries like golang or any other thing to compile your code it will just execute your code okay so this is a normal linux runtime uh, environment where you can execute your code so this image is very small and as a reason we are going to use it you can also use from scratch 
and then you can create a runtime library that is going to be even smaller but again you have to provide a lot of details in the docker file for that so uh, alpine is going to be a better practical solution so once you have this one i'll just do work dir slash root so i'm just going to work dir root folder inside my alpine container and once i'm inside i'll just do copy hyphen hyphen from sorry hyphen hyphen from equal to builder slash hello world slash hello world and then i'm going to place it inside the root folder so the builder has the the executable available in this folder okay so i'm just copying the hello world executable from this location to my present container so once the code is available inside my container the only command which i need is this particular command to execute my hello world application and i don't need this command here now because i don't have to execute it twice so let's understand what is happening here so over here i am just uh, creating a golang uh, golang runtime and then i am just copying a hello world code to my golang container and once the code is available in my container i am just building this particular code and a executable will be created that is hello world so once that is done once this is done i am creating one more base image that is alpine latest so the moment you will create a new base image the previous base image will be destroyed but since i am out i am creating an output of that base image in a stage that is builder stage the output of these this particular uh, the output of this particular uh, container will be retained okay so once i am into the new container that is alpine latest i am going to the root root uh, work dir root folder and in this i am copying the executable of hello world from the builder image that is builder stage to my local container and then i am executing hello world so if you can see here that in this particular container i am not installing any of the runtime libraries to execute my go language go language application i just have a simple bash shell to run this hello world command okay so now let's build it docker build hyphen t and this i am going to name it as multi stage image okay so now just docker run and run this particular image so this is also going to provide the same output so the output has been accomplished so now I'll just go and see the image size now so this was my first image that is 784 mb and then i changed the golang to alpine image and it changed to 381 mb and the new image where i have used the multi stage build there the size has been reduced drastically from all the way from 381 to 7.66 mb so that's huge right so that's that's the advantage of having multi stage build okay so this is the scenario of using multi stage build so if if you want to optimize the size of the build this is how you can use the commands in the docker file so thanks a lot for watching this video please like comment and subscribe to my channel thank you